you're on Windows. You have Pro Tools and you also have two monitors or screens. And you'd like to use Pro Tools on your other monitor. As you can see, I can't, uh, I can't pull my edit window over or my mix window over. Now, of course, we can already pull things over like plugins here. So I could just drag that over here, no problem. We can grab our transport and other kind of uh, plugins and a few other windows we can go ahead and drag over to any monitor. But how do we drag these windows over our mix and edit window? Well, the trick is very, very simple. Let me move these windows down a bit. And you can see this gray sort of background. Think of it as a containing box for our mix and edit window. So if we want to use our mix and edit window across both monitors, all we need to do is stretch that back window across both monitors. Now, of course, we have things like window arrange and we can say tile horizontally. Okay, so that, that'll work in, in a one monitor setup and we can also arrange them in, in other ways here as well, tile vertically, for example. Just wanna make sure you're aware of these. Cascade works well, I like Cascade. And we can always switch back and forth with, with uh, Control plus or Control equals, however you wanna think about it. But in order to get our mixer edit window over into our other monitor, all you need to do is make sure Pro Tools is not maximized. So if it's maximized, that back window is maximized, come right here and just restore it down, okay? Restore it down, there we go. Now, in my case, it went ahead and stretched across both monitors. But if it's not like that, of course, you can always just pull it down too. Pull it down, all right, we can see that background box there, and stretch it. Don't maximize it, you don't wanna maximize. Stretch it across both of these monitors here. So grab it here, stretch it all the way across. There you go. And of course you can stretch from the bottom if you want to stretch that way. So stretch it down here, stretch it up here, stretch it from the sides, all the way across. Position it however you want. There we go. Now just position our edit window and our mix window. And then you can maximize these individual windows. You know, if you want, that will work. Okay. And of course, I mean, if you want, you could stretch this window, our mix window across both of your monitors. All right. A lot of stuff you can do here. The main takeaway is that you stretch this back containing box across both monitors or three monitors or whatever the case may be. Now, keep in mind, once you get everything set up how you want it, you don't want to then come back over here and hit maximize because then it's going to snap right back onto one monitor. So we'll go ahead and restore down is what that's called. So unmaximize it. And there we go, right back to how we had it. And again, this applies to two monitors, three monitors, four monitors. Just, you know, keep in mind that if you have a monitor, say two monitors that you just want to stretch your mix and edit window across, you can do that. You don't need to stretch that gray containing box across, say, three monitors just because you want plugins on a separate monitor. So if you have three monitors, maybe one will just be for plugins. As you can see, we don't need to stretch that uh, background gray containing box across, across this monitor in order to get those windows over there. And by the way, if anyone says this is a limitation of the Windows operating system, that's simply not true. Case in point would be GIMP. You can see with GIMP, we can use a full screen setup or we can have individual floating windows. So the applications are capable of it on the Windows operating system but each application has to be programmed to operate this way. And just in case your dual monitor or triple monitor or whatever setup don't work this way, make sure you're going to your settings in Windows, your display settings, and make sure you have your displays set up properly. I have mine on extend these displays here in Windows 10. Remember, make sure it's not maximized, just pull it down or you can always hit the button there and then stretch the back gray containing window, stretch it, don't maximize it, stretch it across both monitors, Set up your mix and edit window however you like them. And you're all set to mix across two monitors with your mix and edit window viewable at all times.